Good morning, cereal fans. Uh, just a quick video here. Uh, some crunchy bits on um, uh, these are uh, extreme grips. Um, and this is on uh, my uh, Springfield XDS. Uh, put Got these little last month sometime, maybe. Uh, put them on. Now, I had previously had pretty good experience with Extreme Grips. I had a set for my uh, for my M and P forty, um, and I thought they worked really well. Uh, they stuck well. I didn't have a lot of problem with them. These, however, unfortunately, this has not worked out so well. And first, uh, I got to show you. This is the first. Uh, this is, I think, the large size uh, back. And you can see as I started to try to take the uh, cutouts out, uh, they weren't cut all the way through and it started ripping. I got tears here, started getting tears here, so uh, ended up putting the other back on my, on my uh, pistol and put that one on. Now I like the way these... I kind of like the way, I, I love the feel of, of these grips. I love the uh, rubbery feel. But one thing I think that they did wrong with this, and I don't know why they did this with this one, is that they put the grip over the rough part, over the ridges. On the other spring fields, from what I understand, they went through, they went into the groove, into the middle, onto the flat part, and obviously stuck better. If you're trying to put, if you're trying to stick something onto a ridged pattern like this, it's not going to work. And even when I got these, I could see that that I didn't think it was going to work, and ultimately it didn't. Um, now I cut out a few other pieces here and here for myself, uh, just mainly for memory placements, so I know where to uh, put my my fingers when I draw but you can see here what's going on here too uh, now this front part like I said has already come off that came off a couple weeks ago uh, this part is coming off now and it, I'm probably gonna have to take it all the way off because there's no there's not even any uh, stickiness on here anymore um, you can see right here it's uh, get the camera to focus but there's uh, there's there's nothing there uh, it's all worn off now I, this is my daily carry I carry this every day so obviously uh, this is rubbing against um, you know this is rubbing against the holster rubbing against parts of my body my shirt um, so obviously you know it's getting rubbed on all the time and being that it's on those ridges it's not sticking and it's probably rubbing back and forth and that glue or that material on there is just pulling off um, you know it's like when you rub rubber cement in, in your fingers that's how you get it off and that's what's happening here I think so I'm probably gonna have to end up taking these off again it's too bad because I do like them uh, they do make they do make the gun quite a bit more you know grippy I love that pattern um, but I don't know what else to do. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I know there's I, I know there's traction grips you can get. Those go over the entire uh, grip. But I think those are going to have the same problem. I think part of it is part of it is just the way the XDS is created. But I think also uh, a smart manufacturer maybe would have tried to go through uh, the middle here instead of on the uh, texture. Now, that might have been because these are pretty small. Maybe they didn't think they could uh, they could get in there. I don't know. Um, it's too bad. But uh, these seem to be holding out okay. So, you know, I might be able to keep those on there. Um, and maybe I might just get a... Uh, might just get a regular rubber grip to put over... Um, over here I don't know uh, but you know with Springfields they have the safety here so you can only go up so far so you know anything I get I'd either have to cut it um, or I don't know if they make one make one for 
the XDS pistols. But anyways, a uh, little fail here on the uh, extreme grips for the XDS. Um, again, really too bad because uh, 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 this is a nice, it's a nice pistol. I like it. And uh, I like these grips, and it's too bad that they just uh, they didn't work. So, um, anyhow, just a little uh, information for you. Hope you that help. Hope that helps you. Uh, don't base this uh, this review on their other grips. Like I said, their other grips. I I had one for my uh, uh, for my Smith and Wesson pistol, and they worked well on there. So. I think this is. I think maybe this is just a rush design. Uh, they seem to have these out even uh, the day the pistol was released. They seem to have these out. I think maybe they rushed it a little and just didn't put out a very quality product, honestly. Uh, and maybe they need to go back to the drawing board and take a little more time. Anyhow, uh, it's my review. So stay crunchy out there. Thanks.